watching it. There's a rain frog. There's a very special little frog that the starling has got. Leave it alone. Wow, I wish I could interfere. It's puffing itself up and these poor frogs don't have much of legs. They can't really hop. They can't really do much, these little frogs. It's called a rain frog and, I, and I, I'm telling you now because one of these days I'm going to see one and I'm going to ask you what it is because I want to take it off of my list. But the poor child is being mauled by a virtual glossy starling. It's puffing itself up and as you can see that the blows of the starling are not really very effective. It is giving off a very sticky substance and if we get a chance to see the starling's beak is becoming caked in this sticky substance and, and, and slime and it's picking up bits of grass and sand and hopefully that can discourage the starling. Um, the frog, by puffing itself up and exuding the substance as a defense, there's a good chance that it might discourage the starling after a while because maybe, after all, the amount of energy the starling has to go through to get to the to get to the meaty bits of the frog might be might be worthwhile. Um, unfortunately, the I mean we saw a hornbill taking one of those once, one of our first rains about a month ago or so, and well the hornbill eventually won. It's not like the starling will go hungry if it doesn't eat it. And, well, maybe by puffing its body up, it acts as almost like a, a an airbag. And it prevents any serious damage. The, the 